She was dedicated to the Nishmas Rechelea Bas Rav Chaim Tzvi. We've been learning the Malach of Kosev, discussing some of the uh, Lomdasa aspects that you have to have two osis in order to be Chayv, two letters, and if you don't have two letters, we discuss the issue of Chatsi Shir, and then we moved on to a very striking Machlokas between the Ran and the Rashba regarding the difference between what is called Chok Tochos and Chok Yerechos. What we saw in the last Shir is a Machlokas Ran and Rashba. What is the Halacha if you don't go ahead and actually form the letters themselves, but you operate on the background. You operate on, let's say you engrave on the background, and the letters emerge memela. The letters are not, you're not operating the letters themselves. Rather, when you go ahead, let's say, for example, the example we gave is if you go ahead and, let's say, have a Play-Doh, a clay kind of thing, and you take a mold and you press down on the back, on the background of the Play-Doh, and emerges out of that mold, are the letters themselves. Is that considered to be the Malacha do rice of Kosev? So we saw that the Gemara Gittin says when it comes to writing a get, the din of Ksivas get, so there is a difference between Chok Tochos, when you're operating on the back or not the letters themselves, that's not called Ksiva. Chok Yerechos, when you are engraving the letters themselves, that would be called Ksiva. And the Rashba assumes that the same thing would apply Huadin when it comes to Malach Shabbos. When it comes to Malach Shabbos as well, if you go ahead and operate only on the background, not on the letters themselves, that's not called the Malach of Kosev. That's not called, going to be called the Yisr Doraisa. It might be awesome to draw a but that's not the Yisr Doraisa. The Yisr Doraisa, the definition of Kosev, means you have to form the letters themselves in a, in a direct fashion. If you don't do so, that's not called a Maisek Siva. A Maisek Siva, a form of Maisek Siva, Operating on the letters themselves is a prerequisite to the malacha. The Ran took issue with this. The Ran said no. When it comes to get, indeed that is the case. The Torah says by get the kosav la sefer krisus, and you have to do a formal act of writing. Yet when it comes to Shabbos, even though Malachi Shabbos certainly requires kosev, the Malachi is called kosev, but Malachi Shabbos is different. Malachi Shabbos does not require a formal maisa ksiva. A formal maisa ksiva is not required. What you need when it comes to Shabbos, we have the limud, that Malachi smach sheves asra Torah, what the Torah mandates and the Torah is concerned about is not so much the actual action of writing the letter, but if you have a Malachas Mach Sheves, a Das, a Kavana, an intent to form letters, and you do form letters, even if it is, if you will, through the back door, you form letters in a somewhat unusual fashion, but that is your Kavana, that's considered to be Malachas Mach Sheves, and Malachas Mach Sheves Asra Torah. So even though you'll have an interesting Chumra in Hilchos Shabbos, that when it comes to Ksiv and Kala Torah, Kula says the Ram, you need a formal act of Ksiv where you're operating the letters themselves. But if you go ahead when it comes to Shabbos, if you formed letters, even though you didn't operate in the letters, you've operated in the background, that's going to be called Kosev when it comes to Malachi Shabbos, because in Shabbos, we don't care as much about the Maisa itself, but the Maisa Ksiva, our concern is in the Totsa, in the Malachi Smach Sheves, in the formation of the results. The Ran quotes a Gemara Maseches Bavakam Adav Samach, which seems to indicate this very idea. When it comes to the Malacha of Zorah, the Gemara says that when it comes to Nezikin, when it comes to doing damage, if I went ahead, for example, and I lit a flame, and I started to fla- fan the flame in my Rishus, and together with the wind, my fanning the flame together with the wind, that's called Liba Velib Saharuach, I and the wind together cause that flame to move into my neighbor's yard and do damage to his property. So in such a situation, that's going to be potter minazikin. I'm going to be potter from the nezah because after all, that's a grama. I didn't do it myself, and but for the wind, it wouldn't have happened. So therefore, I cannot be held responsible adam for that grama minazikin that took place. The Gemara says, why not? After all, the malacha of Zora winnowing, when you go ahead and take wheat and chaff, it's all mixed together, you throw it in the wind, and the wind goes ahead and does the malacha, separates the bad from the good, so we call that a malacha, that's called zora, even though you didn't do the action, you just set a process in motion, and the wind did the action, but that's called your malacha, you're responsible for setting that process in motion. So why is it any different when it comes to Nezikin? Nezikin, if I use the wind as my agent to facilitate my Maisa Hezek, so then we assume, no, that's not called my action, that's the wind. Why is it any different when it comes to the malacha of Zora? This is the question that the Gemara asks. And the Gemara answers the same exact so No, there's a fundamental difference 
between the Malach of Zorah and Malach Shabbos and Nezikin. Because after all, when it comes to Malach Shabbos, Malach Machsheves Asra Torah, we're not as concerned with the action itself. What we care about is the totsa, is the result. And since you achieve the result of separating the bad from the good via the wind, it doesn't matter how it was accomplished. That is the derech in which it's accomplished. Plus, that was your Malach Machsheves. And the fact that the wind was your agent in doing so, the fact that you didn't do it, be are dying yourself. Self, that's not a concern. Maleches Machsheves Asra Torah. This is the Chiddush of that Gemara Bavakama Daf Sama. There's a rush in that Gemara that seems to indicate, raise the question is this something unique? This Svara of Maleches Machsheves Asra Torah. Is that unique to the Malach of Zorah? And it only applies to Malach of Zorah because that's the very nature of the Malacha. That the wind does 